Let's now talk about file management within a specific project. Normally when you save a project, you just go to file and select save. Now this does not save any audio recordings. Let's go to options and select file settings here. Here we can see where the default location is for saving audio files. By the way, there's a backup feature here. Highly recommended to keep that on. So FL Studio will automatically back up the project at the given time interval. All right, so here we have the user data folder. This is where all the audio files are stored. So if I click over here, we can see this particular folder under FL Studio. And inside here under audio, under recorded, here are all the audio recordings. So I have made some recordings without saving it into specific session folders. So as you can see, it can be pretty hard to figure out which audio recording is for which project. Let's go over to the project tab. Over here, we have a data folder. If I click on auto here, we'll again define the default location, which is not very useful. But we can click over here and define our own specific folder. So this is my projects folder. Within here, I'm gonna create a new folder specifically for this session that we're gonna work on. I'll give it a name. Maybe slightly shorter. All right, so let's create that folder and let's choose that as a folder for this project. Now FL Studio is asking us if you would like to move our current project into this folder. I'll select yes. And if we look inside that folder, there's the project file. Now I know this seems a bit tedious, but it is imperative to organize your projects just to save yourself that headache of finding individual audio files after they've been recorded. All right, now we're ready to record some audio into FL Studio. Let's do that in the next tutorial.